Okay. Well, here we go. One more shot here with the Leslie. This has been quite the project. Anyway, uh, I did a bunch of more work on it. A lot of cleaning up. Got the uh, tubes, the chassis, nice and clean. Uh, put the back, the, the middle back plate on it. That way, uh, the base will have a better uh, response in this cabinet. It's ported. Actually, I don't know if you can see it. There are two ports that exit the bottom, and then the sound exits via the louvers. Uh, there are more louvers that go on a back plate. I just haven't put that back in yet. Um, I eliminated this piece of equipment, this PV preamp. It wasn't doing the job well. Uh, seems like there was an open circuit somewhere along the line in my last video. And uh, when I plugged the output of the PV preamp into the Leslie, the hum increased, which I thought was normal. But as you can hear, there's there's a slight hum and a slight mechanical whirring sound that I think are pretty normal. I've managed to gang all four of the uh, channels together, adjusted the volume, balanced it out. Uh, I got rid of the big power supply, went with just a little tiny wall wart here. Uh, to a single throw or a single pole double throw switch. This is all temporarily rigged, but uh, it works well. Uh, as far as a preamp goes, I plug the unit into my uh, guitar pedal board, and I'm using a clean boost, the Bad Bob, as a preamp. Uh, you can hear there's the nice warbly sound there's the neck pickup both pickups bridge pickup plenty of volume I hit the switch. What this switch does, it energizes uh, either pin six or pin seven on, on the hookup. really all it's doing is uh, switching each of these three speakers that are fixed up on the top are pushed by their own amplifier uh, the 15 that's inside here is pushed by a separate one as well that's why there are four channels uh, what happens is two and three uh, either power the upper speakers for a straight sound or when the pin is energized it diminishes their output and it makes one in the rota in the rotor uh, active and much louder uh, actually two of them for channels two and three channel four is the opposite when the other pin is act is energized uh, it flips so I had to use a switch that takes the positive from one side or the other uh, in order to get both of the tremolos to work in conjunction with each other and it seems to have worked well 
anyway, uh, the bulk of the uh, hum is gone. Cabinet looks good. The sound is good. The switching works. I just have to translate this into a, uh, a more permanent installation now, but I wanted to uh, let everybody know that uh, it, it's absolutely possible. Everybody, all the experts told me it couldn't be done, but I'm dumb enough to not listen to them. So, <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the video.